Hi guys, this is Maria from Stop, Listen, Think, and I got my little sombrero on today because it is a hot one. I am out at my parents' house and I'm working on a project to help beautify their um, garden. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I figured, you know, why not use some of the materials that they had around the house. So, we'll begin the project. So first of all, they went ahead and had one of the neighbors roll a till this area. This is going to be their little garden area, and I decided I kind of wanted to make a walkway. Uh, that's not the way I want the walkway, but I do want a walkway here, so that way it'd be easier because my dad is a lot older, that when he starts putting in his tomato plants and whatnot, we can have them nicely in a row, and it'd be easier for him to walk down there rather than being on the soil and tripping over some things. So... Let's look for the items. My brother had came across some brick a while back and um, we recycle a lot of stuff. So um, these are just old bricks from, I don't know where, some house or some school. I think it was a school, my old alma mater. And uh, they had taken down the school. So these bricks were just laying there for the public to take and we took. I'm in his little shed area, and I found some, like, two-by-fours and some wood that he, he, my dad, I love him. A little bit of a pat rack, but, you know, God love him. He saves everything, and it's a good thing that he does, because I'm telling you what, it comes in handy with a lot of projects. This is my father. Say hello, Dad. Right. This is the guy that's constantly finding things to get into, and uh, he's also wearing his little cowboy sombrero hat. I'm wearing a sombrero. He's wearing a cowboy hat. He's just out here plugging away, um, cleaning up his yard, and um, I'm trying to keep him out of trouble. So I'm no expert, but I know that um, what I did was just kind of scoop up with the shovel some of the loose dirt till I got to the hard surface and just kicked it over on the side. This is the 2x4 that I found. This is just one of many that I'm going to start my, my fencing area in with. And I read in a book that you need to basically sturdy this up by putting a, like a type peg on both sides. So I'm going to put one on both sides all the way down. And this is the fun part. And actually it's a good part if you want to get rid of some frustrations. The little old book that I was reading called for either stone or broken pieces of the brick. So I started using some of the brick that was already broken and I'm starting to break up the pieces. Just using basically one of his hammers and I know it'd be a lot easier with a sledgehammer but I'm a girl and um, you know you gotta do and make do with what you have. Basically, I'm just going to try to measure out 36 inches as my walkway for my project. So, I figured that would be a nice size area to try to walk across. And like I said, I'm doing this because he is um, elderly and he likes to garden. Dad! Dad! <laughs> oh, I can't get this man to stop. He's driving me nuts. I think he's the hardest worker I know. Meanwhile, Dad's in the background with this thing. So right now, basically, what I did was I improvised. I didn't have a wheelbarrow. So I used a little red wagon that my kids used to have here when they were young. And I broke up my... Um, bricks into smaller pieces of rock and I will use that to fill in this area. <laughs> Ed's on. Alright, ready? Yeah. Okay, so the next part of the project I went ahead and finished putting some of the brick and for time's sake I'm only going to do this portion of it so that you guys can see how I'm doing it. I use the brick of stability so it replaces basically any kind of foundation. Adding a top layer of sand and what you want to do then is 
to make sure that it's even by using, once you get your brick and everything on there, you're going to use a, a leveler to make sure that it's nice and even and leveled for you, and then you'll put your bricks on. That's it. Okay, once I put the sand in, you can see my big feet over there, but I just, you know, wanted to show you guys how I'm actually doing this. I put the bricks two this way, and then the next set of bricks I ended up putting the opposite way, and then again straight. And then filling the holes with sand, again, you are just preventing basically any kind of... Um, growth coming in so it kind of acts like a barrier and so once I get all this done the walkway will go all the way to the end so I hope that you enjoyed the film thanks That's for mid stopping by <laughs> you want to say something dad mid pretty. do you like it this is what you can do with recycled materials I'm only a cowboy. <laughs> and of course, Dad is a Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys fan. Happy projects. And that's how it's done. Not too shabby for a girl. Hmm? <laughs> I still have brick. I'm just out of the sand. But what do you think? Is that going to be nice and solid for you to walk on? Two fingers up. <laughs>